have our new then the AC there this is an AC 8 model so that's the specs over there 2.4 gigahertz up to 300 mbps and 5 gigahertz up to 867 mbps okay okay so let's open this one So we're done with the unboxing. Inside the box we have the power adapter, the LAN cord or the connection cable for your modem and we have a quick installation guide for us to uh, set up the router and the router itself. So this is a light router. It looks big on camera but actually it's kind of small and it's not that heavy so that's it one quick inspection of the router you'll see that on the right side there is the name of the manufacturer or the brand of the modem Tenda engraved on the right side of the router at the top there's a LED indicator that will light up when we put power on the router at the back we have the power but, uh, power jack there then the one or where where you put the cable from your modem to, to the router then you have three extra slots for three extra ports for your output uh, ethernet cables so if you're looking for uh, four uh, ports these uh, these only have three so take note of that then we have a button here a reset or the WPS reset button here on the side so you push that when you want to reset the, de the device or the router and we also have a, an IPTV engraved uh, on the third port so that's one of the features of this router so now we plug the device to our power outlet so as you can see the device once plugged in you see the LED indicator lights up so now we're ready to install now we will set up our device using our tablet so we connect to the router once connected we will be redirected to the login page so for this one I'll be selecting dynamic IP address so once you connect the the modem to the one port so it automatically fills out the IP address from your ISP or internet service provider and then we will be putting on the password if you haven't changed this one so this is our Wi-Fi name that's the default Wi-Fi name and this will be our password the default password is located at the back portion of the router okay so now we have uh, input we already input our password so okay connect now it says it's saved so we're already connected so now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi let's go ahead and try to connect to the uh, web browser address there so we're connected so the address is 192.168.0.1 so currently we're not connected to the ISP yet because uh, uh, my modem is outside so this is your web interface look tenda so we have the status we have internet settings we have wireless settings we can change the name of your Wi-Fi here and the type of security and your password and there's also a guest network so you can enable this if you don't want to give this uh, Wi-Fi name to your guests and we have the Wi-Fi signal strength here you can set this to high medium low is we have bandwidth control 
currently I have one device connected so this is the tablet this is my favorite part of the interface because this is where you limit the usage of your internet so you can limit that one you can set your limit like this one you will just select and these are the black blacklisted devices so devices will not be able to connect to your uh, Wi-Fi so we have parental controls uh, sleeping mode you can actually enable or disable your uh, Wi-Fi if you enable it it says turn off or turn turn Wi-Fi off or on every so you will set the days so let's disable this for now so advanced you have map address filtering here you can enable your IPTV over here next is the IPv6 so enable disable that's it and then administrator so that's it guys this is your uh, web browser interface so again, it's 192.168.0.1 Now we will download the application You can control the uh, router using the application on our favorite or mobile phone or tablet There Now it's already installed Let's open it Now it's open, it says, uh, would you like to send notifications, don't allow. So now we'll be con we will be connecting to our router. There, Wi-Fi. So now we're connected. So there's our tablet. And we have here some options. You can log in, you can actually register your Tenda Wi-Fi app through Google, Facebook, and Twitter. So there's your register button there. Let's skip that for now. So here you will see devices. So if there are other devices logged in or using your Wi-Fi or your router, it will be displayed here. So next we'll go to storage. Since there is no USB port of the router, uh, it says this USB storage function is not available. So you will not be able to use this one. This is where the action happens on the tools. So this will show you your internet info once you're connected to your ISP. Uh, so this is your Wi-Fi name and password. You can actually enable or disable your 2.4 or your 5, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So you can also hide, hide them. There it is. Then we have a reboot button here and we have smart apps accelerate wi-fi guest network uh, wi-fi schedule this is the same as what we've seen on the web browser so we put a schedule on when to turn off or turn on the wi-fi so let's try that yes we have disable wi-fi during so there we can actually uh, change that one so for now we'll just disable that so transmit power let's check that there some user interface information and security check so other added security features of the tenda wi-fi that we are currently connected into so that's it guys that's the application used for the router so just a quick uh, review on the features it says here you can play uh, 4k videos through internet access or video streaming it supports up to 1000 mbps bandwidth access uh, it supports gigabit i mean the processor is a gigabit cpu and it has a smart traffic prioritization meaning the the router will select which of the frequencies are best suitable for a smooth connection and it has high gain or six decibels antennas gigabit ports it has the management app or the Wi-Fi app and it is supported by IPv6 for security purposes
that's it for our quick review and installation of the router of our new Tenda AC1200 dual band gigabit wireless router uh, its model is AC8 so I hope I help you guys with the simple and quick uh, unboxing and installation guide good luck with your installation and have fun with the unboxing and stay safe everyone bye